What is up, guys? Reaper Chess here coming at you again, baby! So, let's get right into it. So, a lot of people's thinking, you know what? We're gonna rock heavy armor in the, in the, in the, uh, in the meta, right? So, I'm about to prove to you why I disagree. And this is, this is gonna sound funny, but I think medium armor is gonna be your best bet. Especially if you're talking about Isles of Sipta. If you're talking about Isles of Sipta, you're gonna want this, these gloves right here. Gloves of Jill. Now, when you put these on, yeah, they take a hit to your armor a little bit, but not much. Or you could use the Serpent. Either one will be fine, but usually, because they'll have different adv advantages in different scenarios. But the Gloves of Jill, that stamina region that gives you, the stamina, Jill stamina, that gives you the same regenerative abilities in your stamina as Light Armor does. So, you're going to be rocking medium with Light Armor, uh, Light Armor stam regen which is going to be important you can't do it with heavy it's not as like noticeable but with medium armor you will have close to the same amount of uh regenerative abilities as light especially if you're in a game your stam regens per hit too so if you're hitting somebody you see that up there how it's regening a little bit after each hit i'm gonna be able to get more hits off without it or with it than without it so that's something we could talk about there. There's also the combination of throwing this light piece on and then throwing, you know, this on, and you could actually go uh, with the spire spear instead of the uh, instead of with the uh, the vaulting pole, right? The spire spear, because three and four are not very different at all, so there'd be no point in going to four unless you're in light armor for that extra armor. Which again, light armor will not be the meta. I can almost guarantee you. Now, I'm going to be the one to say you probably want to go this much into encumbrance. People's going to ask why. Well, when you get debuffed, you can come tell me why later, all right? So until then, you, you keep that. Now, here's where it gets funky. You could either go three in grit, usually. I'm not going to promise you anything, but you could usually go three in grit, or you could stack the rest in strength. I personally would go three in grit, especially if you're going to use the Jill stamina, just for the plain fact that it regenerates so much faster. And you have more stamina to fight with. And sometimes when you're on a server, Jill's, uh, Jill's stamina bugs out to where you can do up to eight rolls without needing to. Which I'll, I'll post that clip right here. Let's get this camp out here. That way they can't blow up our vault. We're at least safe. Yeah. Okay. So, we could also go accuracy. Sorry about that. Having having some problems here we can also go accuracy for the throwing axes which is probably beneficial especially since you'll probably get up to the one half tier to two tier maybe if you're lucky i haven't really put the button or the points in to be able to figure that one out right now but so we're looking at uh this build right here again you can go up to the three and grit which i would recommend and then you could throw whatever you want in the grit after that but usually you could just throw this because you're going to be throwing axes at people obviously so this is the build that i'm looking at for the medium armor and two like you're going to use two pieces of light but you could obviously swap those out for better pieces but just for the helmet being so dense you could also get the helm of the brute takes your armor value down but you get more stats we get 75 now obviously if you actually forge the shit on isle of Sipta, you can get up to 80 percent to 85 percent total damage reduction with this medium armor and if not more Along with the heavy armor being higher and total damage reduction as well. But, we're just spawning this stuff in anyway. So 75% is totally, totally great for wearing medium armor and being as fast as you will be. The roll is pretty quick. you got the same roll as the light and then you, uh, your stamina regen you're going to need to watch. But, like I said, if you wanted to, you could swap out those gloves. Take that three, put that down to two and uh, be able to take uh, to the fourth tick of strength. And you'd be able to uh, have less stamina, but be able to roll and watch that stamina regen. It's beautiful. It's just like light armor. It's almost identical. So hopefully this helps you understand that I think that medium armor is going to be the next meta. I don't know what everyone else is going to say about it. I really don't. But I do think that with what I'm hearing, a lot of people is going to be going heavy armor. And you got to also understand that. You're not going to get those five rolls. You know what I mean? You're not going to get that in heavy armor. And that's going to be very, very needed if you're fighting people on horses versus just rolling four times and getting clapped because you run out of stamina. At least with the other one, you could fight after three to four rolls. You guys have an amazing day. My schedule is kind of swamped at the moment, so I can't really do the most professional videos that I want to do. But uh, thank you guys. If you guys haven't checked out already, go check out Flyhax's channel. 
Uh, he has amazing uh, opinion about the 2.4 and way it's going, and I, I kind of agree with most things he says, especially about the offhand switch that needs to be that needs to be patched. It's a, it's a cool little skill gap trick, but it's still also just it's not necessary. It's not that shouldn't even be in the game. It's not intended. And then there's also the new animations like why. But the one thing I will say to two things from Fly Hacks' video, and hopefully he sees this, is uh, the player list is hidden, and he wants it to be unhidden. And I disagree for that reason, and here's why. Um, the DDoSers on PlayStation and Xbox, they need the player list to be able to see when their ping hits somebody. They're, they'll show their Steam ID, or that's what you guys have, or they'll throw the PSN, and they'll hit a different IP on the IP sniffer, or whatever they're using, Kane and Abel, whatever, Wireshark, I don't know. They'll hit it, and then the name for the PSN ID will disappear, but not the username. They'll know that they hit their target. So the way to combat that was to hide the player list altogether, which was good, but also kind of bad. I get what you're saying, so maybe they should just show the names and not the IDs. So people can't really tell who's been hit and who's not. And they can't personally attack somebody with a DDoS. But there was also another thing you mentioned about... Let me see. Mitch's, Mitch's, uh, Mitch's fucking potion or whatever it is. The feast. This shit. Ambrosia. Sorry. The shit you said about Ambrosia. I, I'm one of the PvPers. And I may get a lot of flack for this. I like the way Ambrosia worked. But I like it better now because you can make a better build. And I haven't tested it yet, but I'm getting to it. But you cannot debuff somebody with religious blessings and shit. You can't, you can't debuff them. So that's also a key factor you need to keep in mind. The reason why Mitra's, ju the, uh, Mitra's Justice, <laughs> Mitra's Ambrosia is uh, why it's been patched now is for the point of fact that they need to add a skill gap with healing. And with the way heals work, you're going to need them because you won't be able to heal on a horse now. You got to keep that in mind. People on horses will be gassed out. If they don't have a gas mask, they will be smoked out. And if you start trading with someone on a horse and you start getting the upper hand or five people jump on a dude on a horse, he's going to have to leave, hop off the horse and heal before he can come back in, giving you plenty of time to finish what you're doing or chase him down. And that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. I think, honestly, it was a good change, and I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. But I think the Ambrosia change was good. I don't think they should have nerfed it as much as they did. I still think it should heal you a bit, but, I mean, you got to balance the horse PvP. Now, with the way that I think horse PvP should balance, right, is there needs to be a lance-type weapon for ground PvP, and the getting dismounted on a horse should definitely be more punishing than what it already is. So, real talk, we need to make it to where if you get dismounted from a horse, you're punished not just getting knocked down and stammed out and you're able to run. You need to be knocked down and not be able to get back up until your stam has returned. Like, And then, and then... Like, it needs the old fatigue system for that. Like, the old fatigue system worked so well with that because you'd be able to knock someone off and they'd have to run away. Now, if we were to implement that with them being knocked on the ground, that would make a skill gap barrier for you not wanting to get hit on a horse. It would still add benefits to being on a horse, but it will add severe consequences if you got hit off the horse. Now, PvP on the ground, like I mentioned, there needs to be a pike, or there needs to be some kind of lance for ground PvP, so people are not required to be on a horse to PvP. They can pop out, and there needs to be consequences for carrying this on the ground. Maybe it's weightful, maybe it has... Uh, an animation that you have to do. Maybe right when the dude, right when you're about to fight him, you ha your guy has to stack it into the ground or something, you know? He has to crouch down and put it down, and it's like an immobile thing, you know? Like, I don't know. Just something to think about. Um, things like that could fix the horse PvP right now, and the Rhino being OP as it is right now in close quarters. It would be very beneficial to have something that did that. And... Ground PvPers would shine again. It'd be more about skill and teamwork rather than just overwhelming someone with numbers. Which is what they said in their last stream they wanted to fix. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Fly Hacks, if you want to talk to me, we already talked on Discord, man. Uh, I told you my schedule. We'll get Maybe we can make a collab or something about this because I have some great ideas I want to spend past you because I feel like we could bounce some great ideas off of each other. Um... There's a lot of other people in the PvP community I'd like to talk to about these ideas and see if we can get this shit up posted so that way Conan Funcom can really see this and understand. Um, again, medium armor is coming to be the meta. Heavy armor, 
you can use it now, but it's not going to be as beneficial as the medium armor. I'm going to tell you that now. But, uh, you guys have a great one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Reaper signing out. Peace out, guys.